Hello again, everyone. We are Gaming by Gaslight, and welcome back to Unworthy. When we last left off, we were just getting the basic uh, handle on the game, and also we destroyed the first of what is presumably going to be many diabolical bosses. But, uh, yeah, for now, of course, we're descending back into the deep, dark depths, but fortunately, now we have a light source, so it shouldn't be too bad. Though that's a plus. The Catacombs of Ur. Excellent. Alright. You know, it also just occurred to me, I'm not entirely sure how I use the uh, Healy Potion -y. Okay, just picked up some rotting flesh. That's great. Okay. Uh, that is down. I, I gotta assume that's a shortcut of some kind. Might as well save while we're down here so we don't have to take that giant 10,000 year elevator ride down every time. Because that would. No, no, no. I, di I didn't want it. I didn't want it. Okay, note to self remember not to hit the up button while over the elevator. Because whether you like. Oh, sweet. Merciful Jeebus! Oh boy. Bajaa! Nicely done, and also a new grimoire entry. What the nine hells have I just fought here? Let's see, Svent or the Fallen Father was the first and only council member to have ascended. Banished and abandoned, Svet became a parasitic devourer of the light he once swore to serve. And a dark lurker, they do not crawl before they walk, they shall not live before they die. In the eternal servitude of the dark forever shall they confide. Oh, that's... What, what did I just do here? Though I did find the button! What in the nine hells... ...am I dealing with over here? Some kind of light. Oh, and we're going up, of all places. Alright. That's cool. Cool story. Got our Estus flask here, and hello. You have betrayed the truth! Uh, let's uh, let our stamina regenerate! Listen, dog. Okay, so I'm actually almost dead. That's ominous. A little bit of rotting flesh, that's less... less bad. Note to self, don't get hit. Let's, uh... There we go, enjoy some of our Estus flask there. Well, I'm gonna call it an Estus flask. That's not what it is, but, you know. We can pretend. And also because I haven't really learned what, uh, what the game actually refers to this as. But we do have lots of items that are worth healy juice. Hello. I kinda wish I could barrel roll off the... Whoa, Jiminy Christmas. Oh, good God. Whoa, Johnny, boy. All right. Well, there goes my Estus for now. So yeah, these guys, I guess, they like to blow up. Cool story. Alright. Barrel roll! Gotta remember that second swing. Oh, and we've leveled up. Which I think healed us back to full health. What else did it do? I'm not entirely sure if that's actually given us more in the way of stats. Hello. Barrel roll! Barrel roll! Barrel roll again! Except I'm out of stamina. There we go. I've kind of got it. But not really. Come on! There we go. And now we know of someone new. A new friend. Or something. If you don't mind, I am actually gonna stop to see what this is. The Absolve. They wander aimlessly of search in, or in search of something more. That is intriguing. Ah, good. Except it's a mimic! You never know. That would be the ultimate troll in a game like this. You think you found the bonfire. Nicely done. And the ore rune. Alright, let's, uh, cancel lantern map parchment. 
Items, items, items. Oh, down here. Runes. The aura, aura rune increases base damage output by free, increases stamina cost of attacks by 15%. I don't know if that's gonna be worth it. Like, is, is free damage a 15% or greater increase, or... Yeah. I don't know how I feel about that. Why does there have to be a, uh, a drawback to these runes? I guess we'll see. So far, I don't feel like I'm able to do, like, a, an appreciably lesser amount of... Oh dear. He actually burned me. What a jerk. But at least we got our Estus back, so that's, you know, another plus. And... Is there even... Even any real reason to go here? Not really. Well, I guess if we want to take the ladders so that we don't die, I guess there's... That's a reason. That's a pretty good reason, actually. Oh dear. Get out of there. Ho oh, ho. Oh. That was fun. And by fun, I mean dangerous. Gotta remember to get those dodge rolls in. Why do you do this to me? Alright, well, we got our sin back and we seem to be doing somewhat okay for ourselves. Hello, friend. But yeah, rolled right out of the way, just like a real boss would. I've got to be honest, I don't like these, uh, these little guys quite so much. They're not the worst thing in the world, but, uh, they're... They are mildly annoying. Like most enemies, really. Oh, I've got to be straight with you. I actually really hate that you apparently get, uh, that you appear to get stuck. I feel like my health didn't actually go up. I mean, it is, but yeah. Oh, sweet merciful hell. I can't get past him. I can't dodge roll past this guy, and he just... He just shoves me away. I, am I supposed to take that as a... I'm gonna take that as evidence that maybe I'm not supposed to be here. I really wish you could just dodge roll off of the ladder, though. Okay, come on. Don't do that to me, game. But where am I supposed to go if the shield dudes, like, they won't attack me for whatever reason. And they also will not... Yeah. Hmm. Curious. Very curious. Wish I could actually, like, grab onto these ladders. Anyway. Well, it's good that we're getting, like, what appears to be the most annoying area in the game out of the way right off the bat at the beginning. Oh, hello. Nicely done. Alright, so I guess we gotta go this way. There's a part of me that says, you know what, you should go back and get your Estus back. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. Sweet hell. Nope. Nope, it's just, it's just too much, dog. Right. Hello. Well, 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 what do we have here? Still in one piece, are you? Pity. If you have come seeking refuge or salvation in these vacant halls, you will find none. These catacombs once served as a resting chamber for those that were denied passage. That was much too long ago. Now this place is nothing but a breeding ground for wretched abominations. You would do well to take heed of the fire breathers. If you do find yourself burning, a good rolling should help tame the flames. I imagine you are wondering what I am doing in such a horrid place, hmm? I am on a path. I am on my path. Long ago did the other half cast me out. 
Long ago did he remove doubt. Okay. You sure you don't have anything else to say, friendo? Well, at least we've got a shortcut now, so let's, uh, you know, take, take full advantage of that. I mean, it is slow as molasses, but it still gets us there faster than if we had to walk away all the way around. I feel like I should be able to, like, roll off that, because that totally looks like a secret passage, doesn't it? We'll get that on the way back. Gosh, this takes a really long time to get up here, huh? Oh, well, it gives us a chance to practice our sword work. Nicely done. We need a better weapon. Of course, then again, if we are truly the hero of legend, I'm sure we could get through the whole game with just this measly sword and shield. That's cool. I am still left wondering a little, though, whether that plus three damage is worth our time or not. I mean, 15% more... Oh! Okay. I guess it only brought us up all the way the first time around because it was something new. Interesting. I wonder where this is taking us. This is definitely not ominous and scary at all. Definitely nothing to worry about here. That's for sure. Don't get stuck on the ladder, man. Gotta be honest, that is one of my minor gripes. Is that it's very easy to... A heartbeat somewhere. I can actually, like, feel it in my headset. Oh, hello. We've been here before. Like, I feel... Yeah, like, I should... What is an Absolver's Stone... Oh god, the game doesn't pause. Why am I surprised by that? I don't know. Anyway, Absolver Stone, what does this do? Use a peculiar stone of unknown origins, removes all atonements. I have no idea what that means, but it sounds possibly not good for us. Or maybe it is good for us. Why? Why two? Nope. Okay, that's, that's just like, no. Not happening. I mean, two spider spider babes in one row or one area. That's what I'm calling them, by the way, spider babes. For some reason, they're really more like spider demons, spider psychos. But I figure by giving them such a name, you know, they become harmless or something. Hmm. This. Is most peculiar. An area that dead ends. I feel there must be more to this that... I mean, there is a bell over there. There's something going on down here. But I've got to go through the crazy spider psychos. There's two of them. I have to fight them at the same time. That's not fair. Well, here we... You know what? I have no choice. Okay, roll out. And we're dead. Fortunately, we can try again. And hopefully this time we will do better. Maybe. But it's really easy to get stun locked in this game. Or at least that's how it feels so far. So we've got to work on, you know, not, uh, not doing that. I really hope there's not a boss after those things. Because that would be really... Really irritatingly annoying. But then again, life is irritatingly annoying. Oh, there's a secret there. I got you, bone dart. What does a bone dart do? Equip. A throwing dart fashioned from bone can carry up to 15 at a time. Uh, okay. Alright, how do I... How do I change my, uh... There does not appear to be an easy button to... You know, let's uh, look this up in the settings. How do we... Uh, let's see here. Swap item. Left... Oh, left button. Okay. Right. But our... Uh, our soul flame essence... There we go. Rotting heart. Pebble of filth. 
Gives a little bit of experience. Sinner's Heart. And grants a single atonement. Let's, uh... Oh, I can't really equip that. All right. I mean, the darts seem like they'd be useful, but I don't really want to... I don't really want to, like, just use them. All right. Nope, nope. Get, don't get stun locked. Don't get stun locked. Don't get. Aha! You. Horrible, horrible spider bite. Bite, monster, demon. Bane of my existence. All right. We need more of these soul flame Estus flasks. All right. Oh, hello. There we go. Jolly good. Got some more bone darts. Arrow roll. Roll through them. Oh god. Nicely done, and we leveled up. We're actually getting a not unreasonable number of bone darts. Essence of Altus. What is that? All right. Essence of the Fauver refreshes ability cooldown. Well, we don't really have any abilities yet, so... I guess that's not terribly... I really wish I could roll off of the ladder. No, no, don't, don't go on the ladder. That's not what we want right now. At least we can brand ourselves. The save points are spaced out pretty generously, and I appreciate that. Quite greatly, actually, so kudos there. Also, it's getting... Oh, the Hollow Foundry. All right, we're getting places. Also, I figure I might make these episodes a little... Hello. A little bit longer. Oh, you seem like a bad guy. Are you a dwarf? Narcos, the anvil. Barrel roll! Okay, yeah. Let's not get greedy. Barrel roll. Okay. Okay, gaslight. Whoa! Oh god, he can barrel roll too. Who taught you this secret ability? The ancient abilities... Oh, okay. Of my forefathers. Yeah, I had a feeling that was coming. Oh. Alright, okay. Oh, should've saw that one coming. Barrel roll out of- okay. I'm almost dead. And then I rolled right into it. Okay, he's almost dead as long as I don't- Oh, killy dokily, we're... We're on the way. Okay, yeah. The key is to let him come to me. Then roll out of there before he does the stabby move. Good job. Then heal up, get the healing juices going. Roll over that, wait for him to roll to me. Which he should, there we go, see? Gotta remember now, he... Good job. Oh, come on, I hit roll. No, 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 no. Yes! And he is dead! Nice, filth has been cleansed. All right, who's filth? Narcos the Anvil. Narcos, revered, or Narcos. Now I'm gonna say Narcos, I like the way that sounds better. Revered as the father of the art of blacksmithy, is said to have come from a foreign land with unrivaled skill. It was, excuse me, game. It was he who is, or who was charged with the construction of the sacred kilns when the filth first appeared. The filth of sin. Ooh, what's this? The hammer of unmaking. A slow but powerful weapon. Attacks cannot be interrupted. Hold attack to release a powerful slam attack capable of destroying some walls. Ooh. Your primary and secondary weapons share the same ability meter. It's important to toggle your ability active or activity wisely based on circumstance. Okay. Okay, and... 
All right. We're going to use this for a bit. All right. Ooh, ooh, is, does that mean this is also a wall? Yeah, because there were areas back this away that led us to other places. Unless I am gravely mistaken. Also, what does this do when it's at full charge, I wonder? That is a good question. Aha! Soul Flame Essence! That mean I have free now. Because that would be pretty cool. I do! Nice! Well, that makes my life ever so slightly easier. Alright, this thing's at like full maximum -ness. Also, am I really gonna backtrack for this entire area that we've already been through? The answer is yes, obviously. Really? All that for- Aha! The Burr's Rune. What does that do? Let's see. Increases stamina by 15% with no downside. Alright. Well, that should pretty much, uh... Pretty much put things in perspective now, shouldn't it? Can I move while charging this? I cannot- Oh, God. Okay, wait. I like the fact that it can't be interrupted. That's nice. That's a nice touch right there. Do I really want to save here and then possibly have to go through that whole area again? The answer is why not? I suppose. I, again, I really wish I could just roll off these ladders. I don't like that you get stuck on them. You know what that thought occurs to me? Could I hammer this wall? and ring the bell. The answer is apparently no. And what's so special about having this, the hammer at full plus? We just... Okay, when it's at full... Ooh, I can open something. The door is locked. Freaking. So when, when that little hammer thing is full, we shoot an energy beam, gotcha. That's important to know, actually. Now, we could probably keep going back, because I'm relatively sure there's even more secret areas back here. Actually, wasn't there even a dead end? I mean, actually, yeah, if we look at the map, there's there are, in fact, areas over here. In fact, yeah, we might be able to go... We might be able to... Oh, sweet merciful heaven, why? You know what I wish is that, uh... I could actually stun these things with my attacks. I mean, I think I kind of do, but not as much as I would like. Anyway, I want to see if we can, uh... If we can conceivably... I really hate this area, by the way. But if we can conceivably, conceivably, mind you, at least I can one-shot them with but a single blow. Well, a charged blow, anyway. That's the important part. Alright, yeah, just do your flame jig at me. Yes, quite. Good jam! Hmm, that's tasty. Anyway, moving this away. Can I? Okay, there- oh god! I can break his shield, though. Oh, I'm, I'm so dead. There is a part of me that says I should not- That says I should not be here. Because these guys are pretty tough. Let, let's see what the story of them is. The Sentinel shielded. In time, some Sentinels showed signs of consciousness. Though developed, or through develop, yeah, through developed thought, they, stop that. They appeared to mimic the existence of their creator. Intriguing. I mean, I feel like I probably want faster weapons to fight these guys, and there's like two of those guys right there, so I don't necessarily want to fight them. Hello, Spiderkin. Nicely done. 
Let's heal ourselves even further. There's a part of me that says I should probably not be at this particular area at this particular time. Thornvale. All right, a town of thorns. That's that's always nice. Uh, that looks like a big old pit of thorns. I don't want to have anything to do with that until we gain the ability to do something about that, which I presume will come in due time. But not now. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I think we have to move probably like two or so screens away. The caverns. Opens from the other side. Okay, so basically, yeah, we have basically confirmed this entire side trip was a waste of time. But then again, is any adventure really a waste of time? Probably not. But maybe, sort of, kind of. Anything else we're missing according to the map here? I mean... The answer would be no, but then again, if there is a secret area, it probably wouldn't tell me about it, so... We might have to do some exploring. Do I, do I wanna... I kinda wanna go up here. Oh dear. You know what, why don't we just... Why don't we just ignore these guys? I could pro... I could take them. You know what, I kinda wanna try to take them. Can I take them? Ah, you know what, it's probably not a good idea. Like, they're just standing there. And it scares me. Ooh, a Spire Dungeon Key. wonder if that would unlock the... the door thing that we had access to previously. Is he just gonna, like, immediately... Okay, so basically that's some bullshit right there because I can't do anything to avoid this while I'm on the ladder. Oh! Bullshite, sir. That is the bullest of shite. You see, that's why I should be able to roll off ladders, because... Yeah, that's just some... <laughs> For some again, I wouldn't have had that problem in the first place. Alrighty then, so I guess we're... we're moving on then. Foundry time. I also like this hammer, so I think we're gonna keep using it. Not... not only because it is reasonably... It has a reasonable range on it. Hello. Oh, hello there. All right. Uh, I'll, I'll be back for you later, dog. Just uh, mutter to yourself, that's a special room of some kind. But it's not marked as being anything special, so... I'm never gonna remember it, basically. Ooh, the frozen waste. Oh god, these... Jerk bags again! Though I can pop their heads in a single blow. So, you know, that's... That's a plus. And if we really wanted, we could probably, like, farm rotting flesh off them or something. Something cool. I knew there was a secret down here. It just, it just looked so obviously secret. Opens from the other side. Alrighty then. Oh yeah, also that key we picked up, the spire key, it does not uh, open that one door area. The hearth. Okay. Yo, dog. Oh. Not often we see a fresh face around here. What cruel fate has brought you to these wretched lands, I wonder? Have you come seeking refuge? Or perhaps you seek a full bosom to provide warmth for the night? <laughs> you will find no such comforts in these forsaken lands, my friend. Long have they been abandoned by the grace of God. I fear the only salvation for us fools will be within mercy of death. Death does not judge us. Death does not weigh our worth. Death does not matter. That is total bullshit, sir, because death's been doing nothing, but every time I die, it, it cuts off my head and then says I'm unworthy. It totally judges me. And it says I'm not good enough. I've got inferiority issues as it is, man. I don't need death telling me I'm not worthy of dying. Of course, then again, I guess that is actually kind of a benefit to me, so I shouldn't complain too loudly. Anyway. You wonder why I continue, don't you? Cowardice and hope, I suppose. Hope. It consumes and twists the mind. The hope that someday we may be something more. The hope that we may someday bring worth to our petty existence. When we will, or when we finally come to realize that hope is without target, we turn to neighbor with envy. Misplaced hopes and ambitions, they have undone man. Pathetic. Alright. 
gloomy guest over here. Look at them, traveler, wandering aimlessly, holding on to their worthless existence. They all hold on to fleeting hopes that they may someday see a better day. Don't we all? Do you believe in equality, traveler? They say all are born equal. Ha! Yeah, I don't think everyone's born equal. We all die equally, though. So, yeah. That, that's a good thing, I guess. Rich or poor, we all end up uh, feeding the crows and the worms sooner or later. But that's a good thing. In its own special way. How do I get up there? Do I... I'm gonna need like a super axe or something. Whee! Oh, I can enter the castle. But do I want to enter the castle? Maybe. Well, a chapel, really, I guess. I suppose that's what we're really dealing with here. Can I roll off this too? Aha! I'm gonna go ahead and heal myself a little and barrel roll! The Ah rune. Because equipping it makes you go, ah. For better days. Increases attack speed by 15%. Decreases base damage by one. Why does everything have to have a drawback? Why can't we just have nice things, man? Don't know the answer to that. It is an inconspicuous thing, is it not? Oh dear. The human soul. Oh uh, no, it's the narrator again. It is not so different from a sponge. It soaks up the sins of our bodies. And over time, it swells. Eventually, the soul must be squeezed. Like a ripe lemon. And it must be strained. Also like a ripe lemon. It must be drained of sin. Like a ripe lemon. Else it will simply rot away. God, I want a fresh lemon right now. And in the end... Nothing but filth will remain. Well, that's that's pretty pretty grim. Cathedral of Oh, I've seen this in the like the trailer. There's uh there's some serious stuff that's about to happen here. Hi friend. Neil. Oh dear, this can't end well. Or can't oh dear. Oh. Oh god. Oh, what, 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 what you doing to me, man? Ooh, upgrade -y stuff. Soul Flame Mastery 1. Increases healing of Soul Flame Essence by 5 hit points. Light Foot. Increases stamina by 6% of character level. Increases base armor. And I assume I have to get some of this before I can get some of this, maybe? Let's see. Soul Siphon. 3% chance to refill a Soul Flame Essence Flask when killing an enemy. Wow, uh, that sounds like... That could actually be pretty overpowered, because that gets up to 15%. Hollow Heart 1 increases max hit points by 16% of my level. Stamina regen by 25% if hit points are full. Pever Blade, melee attacks have a 5% chance to deal 125 damage. Also, there's some empty things on the corners. That's like some interesting secrety stuff, isn't it? Tainted Blades increases damage by... F oh, you know what? I... There's those two little symbols. That's got to be like the filth or whatever that we have cleansed. Painted blades. Damage by 5%. Returns free damage. Ah, uh, let's see here. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I like that. That seems good to me. Alright, so we spent some souls. And... Okay, so we have to get a little bit of this. In order to get, like, any more of any of these things on the side. I mean, I guess armor would be good, but I always like being able to kill things faster. Because that's good. Alright, excellent. Wow, what a dick. Well, thank- thank you. I guess. You jerk. Alright, well, that's cool. Oh, oh, that must be what the whole, uh... What is this? Grants a single atonement. Uh, so... Let's see... Belongs to a prison cell. Hang on. We did have that prison cell, but I couldn't seem to do anything to it, so... Hmm. Anyway. Removes all atonements. This... A little taste of filth gives some experience. 
Oh, I had something here. Anyway, let's let's worry about that later. Let's go find ourselves a never never a savey point thing, a never bonfire, and then we'll wrap this episode up. I reckon. How do you guys feel about uh, these longer episodes? Anyway, I mean, if we're gonna do a full playthrough, which I am not opposed to doing, actually. Oh, it's never one of those heartbeats. There's, and we've heard these before. There's there's secrets where there's heartbeats. So we got to figure out how to get it. And there was a heartbeat uh, somewhere else that we've been. Oh, the spire entrance, and we have a spire key. So that's what that, oh, oh, here we go. So I guess we'll wrap things up here. So until the next time, as always, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button or maybe leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking. And I will see all you in the next video.